do 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 Hello everybody Welcome back to the Trackmaster Thomas and Friends Game Show Season 2 Episode 2 Part 1 And this episode is a merry game well a Christmas game show or something I don't know we're too lazy to name this episode Yeah I mean yeah so here are our contestants. First up is Victor. Hello. Then Ben. And then last up, Annie. Hello. And so you're going to answer three questions just like last episode. Yeah, and it's going to be the best one ever. Yeah. Actually, make that. Ten questions. Ten? But last episode, you said three. Yeah, well, we wanted to make it a part two. So, yeah. Anyways, on to our first question. What day is Christmas? Is it A, December 25th, B, December 24th, or C, all above? Now, let's see who will answer this question. Hmm, I think this one is easy. Is it C? That is correct. What? How is it C? Let me show you something. Look at this calendar. Look, see? December 24th is Christmas Eve, and December 25th is Christmas Day. So they're both Christmas. But that doesn't make sense. Christmas Eve is on December 24th. Christmas Day is when you open up your presents, go to church, and sing Christmas songs like Jingle Bells or Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Um, yeah, you're actually kind of right. I know how that makes sense. Um, but it's actually December 24th. Let me do something. That thing is small. Oh, well. I'm just going to chill here and wait for the next question. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, what day is God's birth? The day of birth. Is it A, December 25th, B, unknown, or C, both? Okay. Um, let's see. December 25th. Eh. Incorrect. Yeah. Does anybody else want to try? Um, is it, is it B? Nope. Victor? Um, is it C? Correct. It is both of them. Because, well, eh. um, People, some people really don't know when Jesus was born. And some people think it's December 25th. So there's no right or wrong answer. But you just, eh, me and Annie, stupid. Oh, well, sorry, Ben. Sorry, Annie. There is no right or wrong answer because we don't know. I mean, yeah. So I guess all of you guys got the correct answer. And you guys all start with 10 points. Well, Victor, you, you get 20 for the other one. Yes. Doo -doo. Also, we made a Ben 10 reference. Look. See, Ben's name is Ben, and there's a 10 next to Ben. So... It says Ben 10. Ha, ha, ha. Very funny, Thomas. You just turn anything with my name and 10 and make it into a Ben 10 reference. Hey, hey, Ben. Hey, hey, Ben. What? Turn into Diesel 10. Or like bubbles or scissors or something. Turn into anything. Okay. Ha! Wait a minute. Thomas, 
Did you just turn me into scissors? Yeah, I turned you into scissors. Thomas, why did you do that? Because it's funny. Now you can morph into anything you want. Can I morph into a hammer so I can smash you? Uh, no. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Now let me change myself back. Okay. All right. All right. What's the next question? Okay. Which holiday is better? Is it A, Christmas, B, Halloween, or C, other? Thomas, how is that even a Christmas question? It has nothing to do with Christmas. Just pick which holiday is better. Okay. Is it B? You're absolutely correct. How is it a good holiday? Well, you get candy. Yeah, but it represents the dead. I just made like, that was like sarcasm. Oh, well, um, all right, just be real this time. Which holiday is better? Uh, other, and which holiday? Thanksgiving, New Year's, um, St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day, April Fool's. How is April Fool's a holiday? It's a day when you get to prank all people all the time. Well, it's a holiday and it comes every year just like all the others. So it's a ho considered a holiday. Oh, sorry, Thomas. And anyways, C is correct, Victor. So you get 10 points. Doo doo. Anyways, we'll be right back after this commercial break. Hey, you! Who, me? Yeah, you! It, do you really want to give somebody a gift for the holidays, but you don't know what? Yeah, I'm trying to get my mommy a gift, but I don't know which one should I choose. Well, I have a solution for you. Introducing Apple Watch. Wow, an Apple Watch? What does it do? Well, an Apple Watch can do everything that an iPhone could. But here's the difference. It's basically like a phone on your wrist, but you don't have to carry it. Well, that's cool and all, but seriously though, what can it do? All right, fine, I'll tell you. Look, it can tell the time. Just like a phone can. Hey, can you shut up? Anyways, it can text people. Um. It can track your fitness. It can even help you track your running. Help me! Help me! I'm being chased by a pack of wolves! Ah! Help me! Help me! And it can be used as a calculator. And download apps too. It's also used to make phone calls. Now let me. Yeah. Wait. Hello. Dad? Please leave your message for... Hi, Dad.
Um, it's me, Justin. Um, my mom didn't want the Apple Watch, so she just let me have it. Right now, I'm, I've I done I'm done setting up the Apple Watch, and um, yeah, that that that's basically it. I'm using it right now. I'm calling you. Um, so I bet you're watching football right now. So I hope I hope you're you enjoy doing that. Well, of course you do. You always enjoy doing that. So um. Tell Grandma Shirley that I said thank you for taking me thrift store shopping and taking me to the pawn shop the other day. And, um, I will see you next time. Bye. Well, that was awkward. And they can also make text messages. Look what I said. <laughs> well, gee, that does sound pretty nice. How much does it cost? Well, it only cost a whopping four hundred dollars. What? Four hundred dollars? Is there a cheaper way to buy it? Yes, yes, there is. Just go to your local pawn shop. Ask if they have an Apple Watch and then buy it for half the price. Wow, that's awesome! The Apple Watch, the iPhone on your wrist. Not sponsored. Do you always want to know what's in the stars? Do you want to know? In the way you can see them up close instead of going into a rocket ship. Well, we have a solution for you. Introducing the Vivitar Telescope. It has three legs so it can stand on its own. And it also has a hole so you can see what it's like on the other side. Look at that. Isn't it awesome? You even get to see the sky. You can see what you can do. You can look down. You can look up. You can look this way. And you can look that way. Isn't it cool? Well, heck yeah. I can do all sorts of fun things with this. Ooh, let me look at the clouds. Ooh, pretty clouds. I know you can't see them, but you know they're there. I mean, look at this. It's so cool. Oh, man, it's really awesome. I get to look through everything, and it's great. And you want to know how much this thing costs? Heck yeah, I really, 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 really do want to know. Well, it's just the price of $75. Not that expensive, it's cheap, and you can look through the stars. Yeah, but you already said that. The VR Telescope. Only in stores near you. And we're back. Isn't that great, Percy? Yeah, Thomas. It was so awesome. Yeah, I know, right? And look. Look at this. Isn't it cool? It's like this video is filmed on an Apple Watch. Look, and it's endless. I'm filming this. We're filming this on an iPhone. And let's keep going and going and going. Look. Isn't it cool? Yeah, it sure is, Thomas. And this Apple Watch is really sweet. How much did it cost, Justin? Well, thanks for knowing. Because look, I'm recording this on my Apple Watch. And right when I press that button, it just stops the video. So I don't have to stop it on my iPhone. Isn't it cool? But the worst part, it doesn't have a camera like the VTEC, so, I mean, I was gonna buy two watches, but 
it would be like a total of um, 348 bucks and I didn't have enough money so for that so then I just got this Apple watch yeah it's really good pretty sweet the best thing you can watch movies on I mean this thing is really small though but look look at, look at this tiny screen see this tiny screen so yeah it, it's good and stuff so yeah well thanks for letting us know justin anyways on to the next question what is the oldest christmas song okay i think i know this one is it jesus that's not a song it's a name that's incorrect annie you get five negative points do do well f it any language well i'm so f sorry thomas you're such a f mm, son of a hole any if you say one bad word you're out you're out of this episode well f you thomas all right, that's it. Victor, get her out of the stage. You got it, Thomas. Bye, Annie. It looks like we, you won't be in another episode of Track Master Thomas and Friends Game Show ever again. Well, screw you. All right, say the N word on set. That is it. Victor, throw her off. You got it, Thomas. Wait, please, no. Yeah. Man, I love watching TV. Do you, Emmett? Yeah, Dan, it's really good. I mean, look at the show we're watching. Hey, don't make fun of him. He's really kind. Wait, what the? Wait, what was that? Okay, wait, Annie, what are you doing here? I said the F word on television. What? Why did you do that? Because Thomas is a f whole... Hold up, did you just say... Yes, I said... So f off! Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't say that. You know what? I... Emmett, are you? Okay, so does anybody have the correct? What the? F Annie? Uh, oh, oh my gosh. That was painful. I know, right? Who did that? It was me, stupid. Annie, what the? F are you doing here? Listen, Thomas, you threw me on the other side, then I came back to hit you like a bowling pins. See, Victor, this is the type of I'm dealing with. Thomas, don't say that. You mean, yes, you did that before, remember? With you, Percy, James. Oh, I remember that. So I can't say anymore, right? Yeah. Wait, why did you do that? Didn't I just explain it to you, you whole? Oh, so you're not going to call me? Well, guess what? I'm going to remove you out of the game. And you won't be seen until you get your act together. And say, I'm going to ship you to New Mexico. Trust me, Annie. Do you like to move and move it? Uh, you mean the song? No, that's just a... You know what? Never mind. Let me just throw you. Oh, oh. All this weed. Oh, 
Hello? Eddie? Uh, guys? Thomas? 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 Oh, great. So this is the type of... You're treating me now? You know, Thomas, you're, you're a head. And do you know that? God. Well, at least I get to have all this time to myself. Hmm, I should probably build a shelter, and it's cold outside. I'm just going to dig deep in this grass. There, now I have a whole entire home to myself. Wait a minute, Cash, what are you doing? Cash, you better not piss on me! Wait a minute, is that pee? Ah! Ew! That's what you get, Annie. Anyways, sorry that was cussing. Viewers who thought I was, here's some behind the scenes proof that I didn't do it. Well, duck you, Annie. Wait, so I can't say pie hole? No, you cannot say pie hole. Oh, that's weird. Well, screw. Well, screw you, ditch. Well, fuck you. Well, Thomas, you're such a goddamn mother flipper. You're a piece of crap and no one likes you. Well, crap it. Annie, language. So, yeah, that's proof that we didn't say the actual bad words. And anyways, since Annie's out of the way... We're on to the, oh, wait, I forgot. We're on this question. All right, anyone here gets it right gets 50 points. Well, I know it's me. Wait a minute. I think I know what it is. Is the answer. Jesus, Refius. Oh, Nana? Well, if that's how you say it, then I guess that's correct. Now you get 50 points. Wait, I knew that one. Well, you get 50 points too. Yes. Do do. Now, anyways, on to the next question. The next and final for this episode or for this part. Um, I don't know, but let's just do the next question already. What is the most iconic Christmas song? Ew, 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 me, me, me. All right, Ben, this is the last question for this part. All right, what's the answer? Okay, the most iconic Christmas songs. All I want for Christmas is you. Christmas baby, please. And, uh, uh, 15 minutes of, uh, later. Uh, okay, we've been here for 15 minutes. All right, Victor, what's your answer? Wait, I think I know. Last Christmas by Wham. Okay, that is correct. You get 20 points. Doo doo. See, Victor, I have more points than you. Well, that sucks for you, Victor, because you don't deserve that many points. I do, and you don't. Um, okay. Anyways, viewers, thank you so much for watching this episode. Um, we, we'll see you later because, well, it's, it's December, it's December 24th, Christmas Eve. And, uh, I guess I'll see you on the next available video that's on this channel. Bye. Bye! Next episode comes out right now in five minutes.